some would say that this new intro to A Yurukai Na is a musical masterpiece. So right now, sit back, relax, put your feet up. You know me, but what's more important is who you are. A Yurukai Na show it. <laughs> Are we are we done? Can I nope? Hey, you the kinda with everything I heard from you guys on Facebook, messages, emails, Yelp, YouTube, we finally made our way down in Wahiwa town to find the best hamburger patty. Hey, welcome to Dots. have been telling me that Dots is the best place to get a ground beef patty on this side of the island. They're also known for their Teishoku special and the always fresh ahi poke. As you know, we are very known for our sizzling hamburger steaks and our Teishoku special. But we make many other things, but our sizzling is the best and the most important thing here. <laughs> So we're here at Dots and we're excited to try their ground beef patties that everybody's been talking about. So before we get into the food, let me tell you, this place has a lot of things going on and a lot of history behind it. Now Dots has a rich history, 70 years they've been around bringing in local families and local people. They have live music in the dining rooms on Mondays, contemporary music on Thursdays, and Friday nights in the pineapple showroom they have live dance music. They also have counter sales and catering, so you can always come in and just take your favorite sushi to go. And let's not forget, for you adults, come visit the lounge to relax. So if you want to know more about Dots, the information will be right there. Can we eat now? Can you be quiet? Waitress? that we use for the sizzling hamburger steak. Our local locos, our hamburgers, deluxes and stuff. A lot of ingredients goes into it, especially lots of love. <laughs> Very hard. Okay, hold on. No, I'll have to keep okay. it up. <laughs> it's amazing. Oh, this good. is hot. This is worth burning your mouth for. As you can see, Dots has a whole variety of stuff to choose from. Can we eat them? Ethan! Alright guys, let's dig in. <laughs> ah, look at this. Cooked perfectly. I saw it. I saw it. Okay, let's get her done, guys. Ooh, so smooth to cut into. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. So easy to bite into. 
The gravy. The flavors are all there. The gravy, the onion. Oh. Let me take another bite. Like the second bite is even better. You can taste all the ingredients. The onions, the garlic, everything I don't even know of, but it's good. Can I eat now? Mm -mm. <laughs> hey, you the kind of. <laughs> of stuff to choose from. Can we eat now? Ethan! So, we came here for the sizzling hamburger steak, but we also have these other delicious dishes. The teishoku special, our fresh ahi pokes, but let's dig it. So with my teishoku, I have the butterfish and the ribeye steak. Let's get into this. Just gonna put some lemon on my butterfish. Actually, I'll try the butterfish first. Mm. That's a good butterfish. I didn't expect it to be this good, but it's really good. It's so well prepared. The batter on the outside is crunchy. But look at how juicy this butterfish still is in the middle. They don't call it butterfish for no reason. Mm. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give it a... You know what? You have to come down here and try it yourself. Mm. I'm gonna dip my shrimp tempura into the tempura sauce that they have here. Let's try this. It's so good, the fresh. So good. You can taste the shrimp. So easy to bite into. You gotta get it. So now we're gonna jump in to the fresh ahi bowls. You can eat now. So I got the spicy ahi. I can't wait. I have to show you. Oh, that's fresh. That's spicy. If you love spicy ahi, wow, you want to eat this. Ooh. So fresh from the sea, direct to the table. I am stuffed. Thank you, Dot, for providing a whole variety of food for us to eat. But with you guys, the viewers, Yelp, Facebook, all the emails, I think we found one of the best beef patties. Not only on the leeward side, but in the state of Hawaii. Hey, you the kind of. <laughs> So right now, we're here at Chige's, one of the locals' favorite, if you can't tell by the crowd behind me. Right now, we're waiting in line, and we're gonna get seated soon. So as you can see, we finally got seated. This place is so crowded, it's going off. Chige's is also known for their homemade noodles, like their fried salmon, wonton min. They also have beef sticks, but we're here because you guys told us that they have one of the best hamburger patties.
you won't believe how much of a difference it makes to have fresh noodles. So good. I can totally agree with Micah. The best time in I've had. Micah said it was so good. You said it was so good. Let me take a bite. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> you gotta get this. Getting this and that burger, it's a perfect meal. Okay, we are stuffed again. We just came out of our local favorite here in Wahiwa, Shige's. Anyway, you gotta come down here. You guys requested it, we came. By far, one of the best burgers you will have. Gotta get that double cheeseburger deluxe and the Simon, anything you can get. With my sister, Zoe Solis. Safety is a big concern in Hawaii. Not only in the pools, but especially on our roads. Children and adults have been getting seriously hurt because of them not wearing their seatbelts. Here's a short safety video produced and sung by one of Hawaii's most famous groups, Wahi. about the food here right so right now we want to take you to the beautiful side of Kaimuki to a little hole in the wall that specializes in sandwiches but more so they specialize in creativity so let's talk some story with Justin the owner of Earl's <laughs> we get the name Earl? So we first started as a play off of the Earl of Sandwich. Uh, there was a guy, John Montague, Earl of Sandwich, who helped lead the voyage to Hawaii to help discover the Hawaiian Islands. That same guy also invented the sandwich. So our niche here is that we like we cook a lot of our stuff here. Like we braise a lot of our meats in house. Um, we make all of our condiments, all of our spreads. We have items like bacon jam and marmalades and all this stuff. So we just we like to say that we are cooking and it, we happen to put that on a sandwich. We're not just assembling our food. And that's, I think, our, our big separation there. So we're gonna show you guys three items today. The first item is gonna be a beer braised brisket sandwich. We do a 12 hour braise on a, on, a, on a brisket and we pair it with horseradish mayo, cheddar cheese, 
house pickled onions, and uh, roasted green chilies. The next thing that we're gonna do is show you guys uh, turkey jam Sam. That one, uh, it features our bacon jam, which is a caramelized, spreadable bacon. That's like a little sweet, a little savory. It has a nice house-made pickle on there. Um, a turkey salad, that one's a real, real nice, one of our most popular items for sure. The last thing is avocado toast. And that is like, it's not a full sandwich, it's more like an appetizer. So it's like a mini open face sandwich. Um, it's got a real flavorful, spicy compound butter on there. But we can just show you guys the rest, that's real good. Okay, we got some spicy butter. So first what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this avocado. Next, we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of crushed red pepper flake on top. After that, we're gonna hit it with a little bit of fresh lemon zest right there. It'll be real nice and tart, give it a little kick right there. After that, boom, a little bit of oil. Next, we're gonna put a little bit of balsamic vinegar on there. That's reduced a little bit too, just to make it thicken up a little bit. And that's it, that's an avocado toast. This is our beer braised brisket sandwich. This one comes on ciabatta. We do a 12 hour braise on this brisket, so it's real tender. I don't know if you can see, that's gonna, that's gonna fall apart right there. Real good underneath. We got a little bit of horseradish mayo. And then what we're gonna do is put a little bit of pickled white onion on there. Okay. And a little bit of roasted poblano peppers. Hit that with some cheddar cheese. That's it. All right. Right here, this is gonna be our turkey jam Sam. This one's also really popular. One of our more popular sandwiches. And then what we're gonna do is put some of this bacon jam in there. Spread it. That's a caramelized, spreadable bacon. It's a little sweet, little savory. Okay. Real nice. We put a good amount of this, we call it we call it basil mayonnaise on here. It's not just really a mayonnaise, it's got a lot of stuff in there. So we pulled that out of the toaster. We got that bacon jam and that mayonnaise got all nice and toasted, melted into that jam and that bread. Put a little bit of turkey salad on there. It's real simple, just celery. Pull some turkey apart, a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of mayonnaise. Real simple. Tomato. Pickle. And arugula. Fuck it all in. That's it. Turkey jam sand. Hey everybody and welcome to the show. You know me. We wanna know no. You the kinda. Eh? Sh wait, what was it? What was it? You just irritate me. What? Like, I just, I can't look at him. It just, I just want to punch him. His hair, his, his arms, it's, <laughs> I, I can't.